Tina with 85th House Vibrations and uh, this just in this is your love reading for January 2017 uh, how was your holiday I hope everybody had a good one I didn't do much worth talking about just kind of chilled a little bit you know did some of the holiday stuff even though we don't really celebrate the holidays in the traditional way, we're kind of half in, half out, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, half in, I guess, to the traditional ways and, and you know, transitioning into uh, a more new age, I guess. Okay, this one popped out, Aries. So, let me say before I put this up, I am using a new deck that was gifted to, to me for Christmas by my beautiful daughter. And it's called the Llewellyn Tarot. So we are breaking this in together. And I'm actually going to be... Let me just set that down so you can see it. Um, I'm going to be going backwards with these readings. I'm actually going to start with Pisces and work my way backwards. Because, you know, they always end up last. However, I just... Um, I just felt like I still... Oh, that one popped out. I just felt like I needed to do you guys first. And the moon is in Aries, so. Um, okay, we will get to these. I'll show you what they are. Um, so back to it. This is the Llewellyn Tarot. The first card that we had pop out, and let me just say, I always get stage fright with my new deck, so we're going to break it in together. Uh, we've got, I don't know how well you can see that, but that is... The King of Cups reversed. Okay. That's the King of Cups reversed, guys. And the second card that popped out was the Strength card. So, let's go ahead and start there while I continue to shuffle. I think these are some really, really beautiful, whimsical cards so let's see what messages that they give us Aries uh, we got the king of cups reversed Aries there could be somebody that you are dealing with Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio I feel like that could be trying to, uh, to emotionally manipulate you um I'm feeling like somebody um, feeling like Aries that somebody that knows that you love them deeply is using it against you holding it over your head okay we just had this one pop out so this is going to be it um, okay we've got the emperor interesting Aries because uh, the Emperor is ruled by the sign of Aries uh, never mind it Aries if this person I'm not saying never mind it as far as this King of Cups reverse is concerned I'm saying never mind it based on the fact that you got this is what I'm thinking and I'm feeling like, before I even really, really get started with this, that this person is trying to emotionally manipulate you, but I think that they're really afraid of you. I think that you exert some sort of power over them that makes them nervous. So they are trying to emotionally manipulate you. They're feeling like that's the one way that they can get to you. Because maybe you are more powerful than them. Maybe you uh, are more of a leader than they are. Maybe uh, you're more of an authority. And, you know... I'm feeling like it's it's got something to do with um, the way you do what you do. And inwardly, this person um, 
you make them nervous you intimidate them so i feel like this king of cups reversed um the only way that they know how to get to you is to emotionally manipulate you and aries you know this this could be you but i'm feeling like you know this could be you emotionally manipulating somebody else but I, I i don't feel like it is i feel like it's somebody else and like i said this could be a cancer scorpio or pisces it doesn't have to be but it could be somebody who definitely um has a lot of water in their astrological chart or those water signs could be on the moon or rising let me say too First of all, this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. And also, if you want to pull together a more complete picture, you can go about it by checking your uh, moon or rising sign if you happen to know what that is. Aries, if this is you, I'm feeling like in a relationship anymore, you're, you're just kind of on your last legs with this relationship I kind of feel like if this is you Aries your emotional cup is empty what you have for this person you don't have anymore but like I said just don't necessarily see that being you Aries it certainly could be but I, I really think that this is somebody else that you are dealing with and the other thing I want to say too is that there are two major arcana here so uh, like I like to say this is kind of some um, this is big deal stuff you got the strength card Strength card is ruled by the sign of Leo. And again, this kind of takes me back to this person who I feel like may be emotionally manipulating you. I think they see you as the pillar of strength and I think that they feel like that this strength that you have is actually making you move away from the relationship because Aries I'm kind of feeling like you're over this um, even if you are dealing with somebody who uh, even if the king of cups is not actually you I still feel like you are over whatever this is And they see that you have the strength to move away from them. Um, you've gotten beyond whatever passion or lust uh, that you may have had for this person. I feel like a lot of this relationship was held together by passion. But, you know, lust probably more so than love. The love may have been lacking. And Aries, I kind of feel like whomever this was you were dealing with, they're afraid of losing you. And they see you riding away with the same gusto that you came into it with. The last card that you have, like I said, is the Emperor, and the Emperor is ruled by Aries. I feel like, Aries, you are looking at your own strength. I feel like you're looking at this person and you know that they're trying to get over on you, that they're trying to manipulate you emotionally. I feel like you, you know, you, you see it for what it is. You're looking at them and you're also looking at, and they may be coming on pretty strong with this manipulation. I mean, these are, this, you could be dealing with somebody 
who's um, pulling the, if you don't come back, I'm going to jump card. You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. They might be coming on pretty strong with that. But Aries, you got this. You're strong. You are the authority. You intimidate this person because you are that person. Not that I'm saying that you're mean and cruel and intimidating. I'm just saying the power and the strength that they see in you is exactly what that is. It's not an illusion. It's not a mirage. They see it for what it is, and I think that it really, really frightens them. And, you know, we've got a full moon coming up in the sign of Cancer. So with this King of Cups, you know, being this water, I'm feeling like Aries that as this, when this full moon comes up, By the time the full moon gets here, I feel like if you're not already done, Aries, you that's that that's that'll be it. You'll see what you need to see about this person close to you. Whatever it is that's going on that's causing this um uh possible separation between you and this person, if you're holding out waiting to know something about this person whether it's something that somebody you know that you find out externally or whether you're just really just waiting to come to a place of I'm sure emotionally that I don't want to deal with this I know I've got the strength to move on I know I'm bigger than this I know I'm better than this but I want to just really 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 be sure I I feel like by the time we make it to the full moon on the 12th uh, of this month which is January and then Mercury will have also uh, started to go direct on the 9th so you know whatever you may have been hanging on to and Mercury was retrograde in Capricorn so wherever Capricorn falls in your chart may have something to do with the breakdown of this relationship or the possible ending of this relationship or you know you wanting to move your own way but I feel like as we come to this full moon if you're just waiting to find out something and I kind of don't feel like it's external areas I'm just kind of I'm feeling like you're just waiting for yourself to really know what you know you want to be sure that this is exactly what you want to do you already know it though believe believe it or not you already know it you're the authority on that uh, you know that somebody's trying to get over on you. You know that somebody is um, playing on you. And it, it, it's not that this person doesn't care. That the, the person, the, I think the problem is that they care so much. Like I said, they're afraid of losing you. But as we get to that full moon and as Mercury goes direct and those... Uh, you know, those thoughts start to flow freely again. And you don't, you know, you're not feeling like your brain is muddled. And we come to, like I said, the full moon where everything will be illuminated for you. I think that is when you'll make your decision to say, you know, I'm stronger than this. I'm better than this. Um, the thrill is gone. I'm out. Um, some of you, I think you, you do really want to just move quickly, but if you do want to move quickly, I would suggest just waiting a little bit more time, really, really studying the situation, not because I think that things are going to change, but because I feel like if you need to feel secure in your decision, you know, what's another week? Give another week or so. Really, really look into it. Uh, if you decide to make a quick decision, make sure it's an educated decision. Be shrewd about what you do. Don't not don't don't necessarily don't be um, manipulative like this person or. Uh, uh, 
cunning in a bad way. You know, just just be shrewd about it. Um. Yeah, Aries, I definitely feel like you are wanting to walk away from the situation. You, no matter what you put into it, I feel like that you are wanting to walk away. I feel like you need within yourself to clear your mind, to come to a place of just you. Mind stillness. You need to relax, and I think this situation has got you on edge. You're ready to look past what it is that's going on now and, and look towards what could possibly be out there for you. You felt restricted, I think, in this relationship. And you're ready to look past it and move forward. Okay, well, Aries, that's the way that I see it. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for any of you that are returning. If you'd like to get in contact with me personally, uh, you can do that by uh, sending email to Tina at 85thHouseVibrations.net. Follow me on Twitter, guys, at 855. And I also keep a Facebook page where we talk about a little bit of everything, transit moons, runes, my personal thoughts about how the transits and things are going. It's, it's, it's lightweight and educational and get a little fun. So you can follow me there too. You can look up 85th House Vibrations. And I think there's something going on where you can find it at 855. I'm not exactly sure how that's working with Facebook and their handle. But you can check me out over there too. So thanks. Glad to talk to you. Glad to be back. Happy Gregorian calendar New Year. Because Aries, let me say this. People don't know that the real truth is that the New Year starts with you guys. March, the start of Aries, when things grow. When things come back to life, that's the start of the real new year. Aries started this gangster shit. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Bye.